Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. In today's video I'm going to show you all of the Baby Metal merch from 2018 that I bought throughout the whole year and there was a lot, a lot of merch to be purchased. Rest in peace, my wallet. Anyway, so most of this stuff is from their world tour from some in America, in Europe, and Japan, Australia, Singapore. So I've got much from every bit. I don't have everything because that is just, a, I can't like see myself buying everything because I would be bankrupt. And before you leave a comment, yes, 2018 for Baby Metal was a very, like a roller coaster ride of a year. Yes, you left, then we had the, loads of backup dancers in Japan and then we had Seiya in the Singapore and Australian shows but I'm not going to talk about this in this video so save those comments for another video because I will talk about it don't worry don't worry so I'm going to get started with the first leg of their tour which was the US and Europe tour so I went to as you probably know from the vlogs I went to Utrecht for both nights and I, for the first night I was, I bought the chosen VIP ticket. So you get kind of gifts from Baby Metal from buying that ticket. Um, so I'm gonna show you that first. The first thing, which actually is really cool, is a little pin, I haven't even got out of the packaging yet. It is basically the Baby Metal logo, World Tour 2018, with that kind of sun bursting out with red and orange colors. <laughs> So that's pretty awesome. The next, we knew we were going to get this anyway, um, a VIP lanyard, which, is it a lanyard or is it just a piece of plastic? Because it didn't come with the lanyard itself, which was really weird and a bit rubbish because the chosen VIP, the chosen one VIP ticket was expensive. But yeah, this is cool, I guess. The best bit of that ticket was you get a bandana this is awesome like it's really nice quality like the logo is really nice yeah it feels like it's printed like good as well um yeah i think this is an all-round good bandana you can yeah yep 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 that's all i have to say about the bandana so the merch for um, this tour was really, really good because they had like hats, key rings, loads of t-shirts, lots of stuff because sometimes they just do like a couple of t-shirts which is not good when, because Baby Mutt fans love their merch. Um, so the first one I'm going to show you, the rest of these are all t-shirts now. This one is called The Dark Side T. Ha 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 ha. This one's awesome because I love how like plain it is because you, from non baby metal fans you would never know this was a baby metal t-shirt which i really like and on the back it's not massive massive stuff on the back it's literally just metal resistance episode seven apocrypha chosen seven what's special about this one is this is the leftover merch from america so it's a different brand the better brand because gildan is <laughs> rubbish <laughs> i hate it i just i hate gildan it's just rubbish merch really low quality cheap Next one is called the Conviction Tea. This is awesome. A classic kind of illustration that they normally do. Um, it has, uh, it does have a statue there with a fox head. <laughs> they got incorporate foxes on there somehow. Um, yeah, it's just loads of statues holding a baby metal flag. It's just awesome. And the back is all of the shows from America and Europe. So that is cool. The next one is one when they released like the pictures of their merch. This is one I absolutely was dying to get. And this is called the Death Garden Tea. This one is awesome. So pretty. That is really, really cool. They ha it has a, um, a bird of prey there, a hawk or something. A fox, it's like spot the fox. Yep. I love the logo at the bottom. Um, there's lots of foxes and birds on it. <laughs> and the back is a leg of this. A bug just went in my tea. Oh, gross. 
I have like a full cup of tea and a fly just went in. <laughs> oh, that is gross. I don't know if I want it now. No. I can't have. Oh, that sucks. <laughs> the next t shirt is called King of Darkness. This is a classic Ravenel t shirt, black and white with a like sort of monster person on a seat with a fox <laughs> and snakes and skulls. Yeah, and the sun in the corner and the moon. Ooh. Um, I'm not the biggest fan of this one, um, but I bought it anyway because you know it's baby metal. And the back is like this. I like that the backs on them are all different because normally they have like the same um, backs on all of the t-shirts regardless of the front of it. So that is cool. So the next two t-shirts are really special because both of these, they're ones that you can only get in Europe and only get in the US. So honestly, you who's been doing it ever since I've been trying to set up this video <laughs> is, I don't think it, it, this is, this isn't Jinx because she's left, I don't think. I don't know, but it, Yui's always been the worst to stand up out of my pops. She just stay up. It's just a coincidence that she's left. Please stay. This one is called the Enchanted Ruby, which is so nice. I love the purple and the colours of it, and I love that it has like a ruby on it, and it's just, it's so just nice. <laughs> I just love it. And the back looks like this. So um, yeah, this is the the Europe only one. So the next one is the US one. Yes, I managed to get it because my friend from America, Chris, went to go see them, which is very far from where he lives because he lives in California. Um, so we, I got him another one of the Enchanted Ruby, so then we swapped it. And this one is probably out of all of these t-shirts is my favorite. I love it. And because it's American, it's a better brand and it's much, much nicer quality. This is such an awesome design. I think it really goes well with like the American kind of theme. Um, yes, I like the, the kitchen hands there and the three boxes there. So thank you, Chris, for getting me that one. It is very special. Back looks like that, by the way. Love it. Now we're on to the Japan match. Okay, the next lot of t-shirts are from their Japan tour, including like Dark Knight Carnival. So I um I cheekily asked on a Facebook group, can someone just like get me something like a keyring or a t-shirt? Like I'll be like I would just appreciate any anything. And um Colin, who I've known for ages, and he's I've known him through the fan base for a while, um, he actually lives in the UK, so he flew out there and um and he said he'll get me some stuff that he, that he can manage to get and fit in his suitcase. I was like, ah, oh, that's so nice. Thank you so much, Colin. That like, Colin is one of the best people in this community. He's so nice and he's so, he's just so down to earth and like, he's really like kind and sorts things out on the, like, the Facebook groups. It's awesome. So the first one is called the Seven Keys Tea. So, so nice. And because it's Japan, they have the Baby Metal logo, which is like their brand and then it's a nicer quality t-shirt and it's actually black, not like blue. <laughs> so this one's awesome. It's just got baby metal, baby metal text. And then it gets to the end and there's a little fox. It's so cute. And the back looks like this. There's not too much on the back, which is nice. The next one is called the Metal Polygon Tee. I love this because I love the colours and I love like the outline of or well, the design of the fox, you can, I don't know if you can see it properly, but I love it, I love the colours. It looks kind of looks like a forest and like fox fur, kind of, or like flames, I don't know. It's like trying to crack a code with these t-shirts. <laughs> so funny. The back is awesome. I love the baby metal illustration there. So nice. They go all out with these t-shirts. I love it. And he also managed to get me the Chosen 7 wristband, which looks like this. It's so, so nice. I love this. It's just gonna go straight on my hand. When I go to shows, add it to um, some other wristbands that I have, so that's awesome. And then he also got me the key ring, which is actually really, really big and really heavy. So, so nice. I wouldn't set a clip, because I haven't got it out of the packaging yet, because it's so nice. 
This is awesome. It's just got baby, um, baby metal world tour in Japan. Oh no, baby metal world tour 2018 in Japan. And it's that logo. I love that logo a lot. It's super cool. Okay, and the last one was actually from a guy called Mark from who I um, messaged on Facebook. He's from Australia, so he was there for the shows too. And he managed to get the hoodie for me. I think he got it after he after the show was over as well and he jokingly said oh no I, I, I didn't get it sorry and I was like oh okay and he was like I'm only joking and I did get it and I was like ah. <laughs> I couldn't believe it it's the chosen seven hoodie <gasps> god the white is so bright on this hoodie it's so so nice I hoodies are the best it's so nice and the back's really cool because this is what the t-shirt had on it um that one and it had this this on the back the chosen seven who are the chosen seven? So that's cool. And I think the back, it's got that, um, the the intro to their shows that they normally do before they start in the name of, that is this text here. The next one I got from Zen Market because I couldn't get any of the Dark Knight Carnival merch. I think they sold out like really quickly. So I was on Zen Market for ages waiting for my size, for someone to resell it in my size. I didn't get like the pumpkin skull t-shirt. I'm still looking for it because they're either like large, extra large, and it's just too big. It's just not worth it. I need like the right size. But I managed to get the Day of the Dead tea, which is so nice. It's got um, the pumpkin with a skull face on it and then two skulls, roses, and it says Dark Knight Carnival, October 28th, Saitama Super Arena. And this, none of my um, t-shirts are like this. It's really, really glossy. Like, you can hear it. Like ASMR. Um, none of my t-shirts are like this. It's like really shiny. Really cool. And the back. <gasps> ah, The back is so cool. Look at that. Ah, and it's got um, the two bands that supported them as well. So that's cool. Love it. Yeah, I'm still waiting for the other t-shirt. So that's the only one I got from the Dark Knight Carnival. I thought I'd mention the t-shirt I'm wearing because I actually got this last year. This is called like the Pixel Tokyo t-shirt. If you can see, yeah, it's, I, when they released it, it's so awesome because they haven't done like a t-shirt like this before and they haven't really introduced like all these colors since the whole Yubi thing. They haven't done like the chibi designs. This one's so, so nice. This was actually, I think originally done by I Saw Merch and um, Lily actually, I think, messaged them or tweeted them saying like, is this an official t-shirt or is it just like someone's design and then they printed it? So, no, it's not actually an official t-shirt. Mark, again, who um, I know through Facebook, because he lives in Australia, he was obviously going to the first shows of Baby Metal in Australia. So he went to all, I think, is it three? Is it two? All three festivals in Australia. Amazing. There's also, um, this merch is the same for Singapore as well. But he managed to get me both t-shirts because there was only two. I love them so much. I think one of these is probably up there in my top five now. So the first one, I'm gonna show you. First one I'll show you is called the Metal Fox Mask tee. So nice, I love the purple again. Uh, it's so cool and the fox mask in the middle. It's so, I love, Just it's so well designed, I love it. Yep, this one's just awesome, and the back, the purple on it as well. Oh, I love the colours. So yes, this is so nice. Thank you. Right, this is my favourite one. This is called. This is called the Wild Fox Tea. Oh, this is one of the best t-shirts they've done in years. This is so so nice. I wore this one on New Year's Eve because. I wasn't dressing up and I needed something to wear and I hate like wearing going out clothes I'm just bored of it so I thought I'd wear this t-shirt and a black skirt <laughs> this one's awesome it's, it's so popular with everybody ah, love the fox and it's got like loads of jewellery on it and you can see his paws um, there's a skull at the bottom with arrows in his eyes <laughs> yeah and the back is so nice pink pinky purple and blue love it i'm on to the last one now and this is 
related to Apocrypha, their new graphic novel. And they released on the Baymore UK website. Amazing and like US, so I could, didn't have to pay a lot for postage. Um, they released oh, the shiny Apocrypha hoodies. They got the t-shirt as well, but I just got the hoodie because you know I have so many t-shirts and I don't have that many hoodies. So this Apocrypha Legend of Avemel in like shiny text. It's so nice. The back is the best though. It's got the Apocrypha logo on it. Look how shiny it is. It's so pretty. I love it. So cool. I, I tweeted a picture of me wearing this and the Bavement or Graphic Novel Twitter page retweeted it. Amazing. Yes. So this hoodie is divine. And, and guys, it's not Gildan, even though it's from the UK. It's from the independent trading company. And I am... Yep, yeah, I'm very happy with this material. <laughs> Yay, it's not Gildan. I did get the key ring from the Europe tour, but I can't find it. I don't know where it is. It was on my bag and then I took it off because it was jank. It was like jingling around. It was really annoying because it's a huge key ring. It's about that, that big and it's really thick metal. I think it's, I think it's, I've put it in a drawer somewhere, but I can't find it. So um, I'll insert a picture of it here. So I got the hearing, but I can't find it. <laughs> okay, I've got one more thing to show you. This wasn't from a tour. This was just released on the um, UK and US Babymat website. I don't know if, if it was released in Japan. I'm not sure. It is the very expensive, not a cult candle. <laughs> it stinks. It's, it's um, described as a gimme chocolate scent. I actually do really like it. It's, it just smells of... Um, like, I think it smells like a really, really sweet hot chocolate or milk, chocolate milkshake. It's really strong. I had it out on the table in the living room for a bit and, and I was watching TV and all I could smell was the candle, even though it wasn't lit. It was, it's so strong. Um, but yeah, this is, it's a glass jar with two stickers on it for a whopping £20. Why? I really wanted two, but I'm not spending £40 to get two candles. But anyway, I actually, I actually do like it. So thank you so much for watching everybody. Um, I've got loads more videos planned for this year. Sorry I haven't filmed loads recently. It's just been, you know, Christmas, New Year's and the fact that I just, ugh, I just haven't felt like it. Um, but yeah, we've got loads of things to discuss because I want to talk about Apocrypha, because I've got all the covers now. I want to talk about the backup dancers and Saya and then like the costumes and all the, the new like shows that they've done. I want to talk about the future of B metal, like what's going to happen, who knows. So thank you again and I will see you in the next video. Bye bye!